this is a quick video on the repair of a convector heater um, <clears throat> these come apart quite easily um, take the handle off each end you're going to need a um, security bit as well which is a three pronged one um, and then these different type of security bits come in different uh, little ones we get the extension ones you know and they're very useful to have a kit of these the complaint with this was that uh, she twisted on and um, it worked okay for a while then it's cut out now my first thought was um, where's the legs and she said oh no I'll just stand it on the floor I said well you can't do that I said because the heat comes out the top and it draws in cooler in the bottom and if it gets overheated because there's no cooler coming in what happens is one of these things a thermal fuse um, melts on the inside these thermal fuses are fitted on these uh, usually around there somewhere so I said okay well I'll just do a quick job on you come back later um, now <clears throat> on this particular model they don't use the thermal fuse they use a thermal cutout which resets itself and I'll show you this it's just here halfway along and this resets itself so I've tested this and indeed it has reset itself and it works okay now um, but on the larger ones they seem to use these thermal cutout fuses which are a very cheap item in fact they only cost about 30p each uh, of course you're going to have to charge labour to do this but that's the general idea so if you get that fault um, but you will need a uh, three pin screwdriver three legged screwdriver or call them, um, a, a security bit to remove uh, the, some of the screws so that's, uh, that's just a quick video from me and uh, I hope it was some use to you uh, just remember that these these heaters must have the legs as on the box otherwise they will cut out almost immediately and this one was lucky because it's got an automatic uh, reset thermal cut out as well as the thermostat there and uh, don't plug these in with the covers off highly dangerous you've got mains voltage all over here um, and when you reassemble it um, or if you did when you disassemble it take it to pieces the center one will be bent these ones here are pretty damp and looking at this with a bit of rust mark there I wouldn't be surprised if some wet washing had been put on top which is also a naughty thing which people do they put um, clothes to dry on the top straight away the thermal fuse goes and you see these in the hundreds at the dump and all it is is a 30p thermal fuse um, <clears throat> just for interest if you want this one this is the model of this is as you can see on there an SF240E um, but different heaters may have different and will have different types and models of thermal fuses which blow at different temperatures they're just simply a cylinder with a tiny bit of wire inside when it overheats the wire melts and it breaks the circuit cuts the heat out and uh, stops a fire or the possibility of a fire starting it's a safety device and uh, it's very good for the manufacturers because they don't work at all then and so of course people throw them away because these are only a 20 quid item anyway to buy and so it's a good sales um, device but on this one as I say this one's got um, a automatic reset on that thermal cut out there which is better than the thermal fuse so that's all from me I hope it was some use to you on this convector heater Bye for now.